Hello fellow problem solvers. Today we're going to be playing a game from, we're going to be solving a problem which is a game from Promise Theorem's Olympiath Comnathorx chapter on games. And I think this is, just illustrates a very simple principle in games. And so what are we doing? We are putting, players A and B are putting circular discs on a table. You know that you can, we can put at most at least one disc and um, what does it say? It says that if, if a disc isn't fully on the table, then it will fall off. And basically, can you prove that this is a square table, a perfect square table? And can you prove that, like, figure out which player has a winning strategy? So, I invite you to try this problem out for a minimum of five minutes, ideally 15, not more than 30. And here's the sort of idea. You're not given anything about the size of the coin with respect to the size of the table. You're only given the fact that you can put one coin in. Okay, that's not a lot of information, so you must think more abstractly, not concretely, like I'll put it here and then I'll put the next one here, then no, 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 no. There must be some, some general principle or rule you can follow. And here the idea is, so there's a square, a square is perfectly symmetrical over its center. So can we use that fact in any way, shape, or form? Like it's a square, let's use that fact as a circle. And the answer is yes. And I'd like you to take five minutes to figure out how would you use this as the first player. And here's the answer. You put your first move, you put a coin in the center, such that the center of the coin is in the center of the square. And now what happens? Say the next player plays any move. Plays a move here. The coins are the same size. Then you can literally copy this by just you know translating this over the center of the square. And then you play here. And now the thing is, if the other player can make a move, then so can you. Right? If they are going to like there is if they are making a move here then you're going to make a symmetric move right here. And at every point when they make a move, you need to be able to make a move because now the whole board, after your move, the board is symmetric with respect to the center. Like there's a symmetry, there's a bijection, you could say, between the coins and the center. I don't know, actually, I'm not sure if the bijection would be a correct terminology. Correct me if I'm wrong there. But now this means that no matter what the second player plays, you'll be able to make a move. Given that these are of some non-zero size and the table is finite, at some point we will run out of space. But the thing we know that is I'm not going to be, me as the first player, I won't run out of space. It will be the second player because they have to play first, and I, whenever they play, I've guaranteed now, by following the strategy, that whenever they play, I can make a move. And I'm done. This solves our problem, and as always, thanks for problem solving.